Good morning, hello. How are you all doing? Happy Wednesday. I am feeling a bit tired today. Got enough sleep last night, just, you know, not high quality, I guess. Um, but I am still looking forward to sort of like getting started on this project, which is also part of like the, the first part of uh, the learning networking thing. Um, and since this is a request project, I uh, figured we'd, uh, we'd actually plan it out and figure out what we're, what we're doing. So um, I've opened up Figma here. I'm going to start a new draft. Uh, I guess it's a new design file. Uh, I've used Figma only a few times before. I'm only like mostly familiar with it. I keep on forgetting how to do things like, okay, so change background. Sure, we'll make you nice and dark. No, that's not what I meant. There. Background that. Uh, how do I set the size? Or does that even matter? Oh, right, because we have no frame even. So we got to create a frame first. Uh, frame, these are like phones, uh, tablet. No, probably desktop. I'm not exactly sure what their um, resolution is. I'm gonna go with this 1280 by 720. Uh, because I would think that they're probably somewhere along, like along that, not, not super high resolution, but not super low resolution either. Um, okay. I fill you with maybe like there, dark gray. Okay, so we have our, our frame. So this is gonna be like the first the first image here. And I think I can rename this. This is gonna be basically landing, the landing page. So when you when you land here, what are we gonna do? We're th there's not really gonna be too much like I, I don't think we're gonna have like traditional authentication. Uh, no need to like have them give like a username and password or anything like that. Uh, I'm thinking we'll just have maybe the title. For, for what this thing is. So that would be something like uh, a single deck of cards. Uh, working title. And I think I can set you, yeah, your 12 font. Let's make you like 72. Put you up here in the center. There we go. Um, you can probably be there. Better, better color like this. Uh, then I'm probably gonna want just like two form fields. Uh, if you're gonna host, or if you're going to join a game. Oh, and a name. So we're, we're probably gonna want a display name to display that too. Uh, so that's, do they have anything for like a form field? I don't, assets? No, that's for me like creating my own. So this is like super, super, super basic. Okay, that make that that's fine. Uh, we are gonna create a, I guess a rectangle. You're gonna also have this nice sort of no. Have to create you first. Uh, 
So like my initial thought is like one after another, but it might actually make sense just to up here and we're gonna do text uh, name. Let's reduce that down to like that. Take you both. Okay, so no matter what, we want to like enter in our name. That that you know that's something we need to do. Uh, however, if we're going to host a game, um, that's I guess that's just a button, right? So a button might look like this, but with some text in it. Okay, so post a game. Let's make this look more like a button. Make you, I guess, like dark green or something like that. Uh, and then we have like the join a game and to join a game, you need a, uh, a code. So game with code. Uh, I, I guess I'll just turn Okay, so something like that. I mean it it <laughs> I'm I'm not a designer and I certainly haven't had a chance to like vet this design with anybody, but this might be a good like MVP to get out just to see whether or not it's uh, it's even usable. And then we can sort of like make um, uh, make updates to it as necessary. Uh, I am thinking about having this all be in a web page, but this would be just like the first part, right? You land here and then we have a choice. We can go, we can uh, host a game or we can join a game. Regardless, we need a name. So that's like, that's why that's required up there. Um, okay, so then once we fill this out and we either hit the host game or the join game, we're gonna go to a new, a new frame. Uh, let's, can I just make you exactly the same? There you go. Uh, so once we're, once we're in here, I kind of want to just copy the title down. Uh, so let's say that this is, you've joined a game. I think that's going to be a little bit simpler. If you've joined the game, uh, we probably want to like have the code um, displayed. Uh, Dota, hello. Um, and and what what's shocking is it the fact that I'm in web stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. If you comment your methods in TypeScript the way it wants you to, hovering over that method shows the comment everywhere else in the code base. Oh, you're talking about the doc comments? The, the little doc comments you can do above, above the functions and the interfaces and pretty much everything else? Yeah, those are cool. At least uh, it, it works in VS Code. I don't know about anywhere else. Yeah, and then you use that method. Yep, yep. 
Yeah, I've, uh, modern tooling is pretty amazing. Uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, single deck of cards. We probably want the code. So uh, we'll be like 3J, 8, F. Let's just say it's four characters. Put that up in the, like the top left or something like that. Uh, then uh, we're gonna want a um, it's like information that you that you want as a as a player. Uh, down here can be our hand, and then maybe up here can be like. Oh, do we do we need to see everybody else at the table? Probably not for this first version. But I, I suppose it could be it could be helpful. Uh, I could easily have the table be a rectangle. Be like a table like this. I don't know why it feels like it should be like a green, like a very dark green. We'll have our cards down here. So we'll have a card. And like maybe we'll have a bunch of them. And they're currently hidden. Uh, if they're currently hidden, probably just want to use a Google font to show that. Uh, of course. I oh visibility off. This is what I want. And then you can choose to make it visible. Maybe you like click on this. It's like maybe let's go find an eye. Probably want to do something with like change the color of this, uh, which I don't think I can do here, even though it is. Oh, so I would probably want this to be like green. Because like it's visible. And like these can be. Uh, maybe like red. Um, these would be the actual cards, so you could see the cards. So we'd we'd have something like uh, the like you know, five diamonds.
and so on. Uh, I would actually replace them with a graphic of cards, but I don't have one yet. I don't know which one that would be. Um, okay, so that's what you have, and then we need to see... We need to be able to see the other players. So let's say I support um, six players total. Uh, arbitrary number, but it's probably for the, the, the design of this. So if I, if I take like this, um, maybe even like all of these, copy you down, we'll scrunch you up, to really small. That would be like you. So be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that would work. This is the virtual table, and then everyone is just sort of sitting around this table. And then you can see which ones they've displayed. Uh, and then I guess over here, we wouldn't see any of this, but we would see the one that we that's been displayed. And I guess we probably wouldn't see the buttons. Or maybe we would. They've chosen to show us that. We can see ours, though. All, all of ours. So maybe these are centered, too. Uh, and we probably also want to see, like, the centered deck of cards. So it might be, like, here. Um, we'll probably want some kind of a number to show how many there are of it. So maybe there's, let's see, 52 minus, uh, three times six is what? 18, um, oh, 52 minus 18, that's too much math. Just use a calculator. 34. We can even put a label here for that. 34 of these cards left. Uh, and then we need a marker for the dealer. So we know who the dealer is. So we're, um, we're not the host, but that doesn't mean we can't be the dealer ourselves. Because that probably changes, right? Uh, dealer changes every time we like we restart over um, So we'll need some kind Person Supervised user, okay. There's so many crazy icons here, it's, it's awesome. Uh, let's choose... Oh, is there... Can I just find it like a D?
Here, we'll, we'll use a star. Star is dealer. So maybe this goes around. I guess it would be like, so like, you're you are the dealer. Um, when you click a card, it deals out. How do we want to do this? Um, I don't know if I necessarily want to do drag because I think some people are going to be using a variety of devices that don't have drag. And for this version, I wouldn't want to like support multiple ways of doing things. So probably click or tap and then tap again. Um, context menu. Uh, Alvin, hello. Oh, click and pops up a context menu for like, hey, what what can you do? That 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 could work. Um, what like, should I even do something like anybody can take a card by just clicking and tapping on it, and then that just goes to them. No, because like the dealer generally deals, right? So, I mean, I could also have when you're the dealer, there's a series of buttons. Yeah, I want to make it relatively freeform. You're you're right about that. Uh Uh How do I make you Oh, because you're There we go. Uh so what if I what if I have some like deal all? Okay, so probably anyone can click anything and grab from anywhere. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Like anybody can deal from any grab from anywhere. Um, like the other choice would be uh, you can like the dealer can deal all. Uh, deal to all. I need. Which would deal one card to everyone, including themselves. Oh, and then anybody can take a card, can click it to just take a card. So that that might work too. So like anybody can take a car. Anybody can take a car at any time. Um, and anybody can. OK, so having a dealer is kind of a set of rules that break the freeform format. So it's better to be a shortcut tool. Oh, yeah. OK, so how about this? We don't have a dealer displayed. This, so this is just a single deck of cards. It just shows what cards there are. Uh, so anybody can also hit the deal to all button. 
Like there's no rolls here. It's anybody can hit the deal to, deal to R, deal to R, deal to all. Purple G, um, hello, good morning. Also, I think I forgot to say good morning to you, Alvin and Dota. Um, so good morning as well. Uh, so deal to all. Um, I want, oh, we're probably going to want a discard. So you could just discard it into a pile here. So that will be this one. Um, I've, uh, what game is this? So it's, um, game is probably a stretch, uh, for, for this, but, um, so my parents have requested a super, super, super basic, simple, uh, just like a simulation of a deck of cards. Uh, they actually referenced um, Tabletop Simulator uh, as like um, something to like base it off of, but for just a single deck of cards and also to like make the interface extremely simple because they had a lot of trouble trying to figure out how to like even flip a card over to move it around, to deal it out to other people. So they want like the simplest possible interface for a single deck of cards and multiple people all connected together so they can just deal them out and all play over Zoom. Um, because like they, you know, before everyone was having, you know, maybe, maybe our parents and grandparents were having trouble like connecting to Zoom to do it, but they learned out trial by fire last year. So they want to be able to play games like Oh Hell and uh, Hearts and and stuff like that. And uh, they don't want to necessarily have or cribbage. They, you know what? My parents never got into cribbage. They they never really played. Um, my grandparents did, but uh, not not my parents. They um they're more of like an Oh Hell uh, uh player, which is sort of like. Cribbage for, you know, with, with less rules. Uh, cribbage is awful. Three players equals worse. Okay, so I think with Oh Hell, it's four players. Um, and it it is not the worst game in the world. Actually, it's it's pretty fun, um, I, I think. Uh, it's also a trick a trick collecting game. So you're like collecting tricks of cards, uh, which, let's see. So I think we're gonna want a discard. So probably like a trash icon. Yeah, a trash icon to discard things back into like just the shared discard pile. Of course, you don't have that. We'll look up trash. Uh, an old friend taught you to play cribbage years ago in the Navy. Um, I feel like cribbage is one of those types of games where if if you have like a good set of friends, then it's probably probably pretty good. It, it can be a fun game then. If like you don't have like you need friends like most multiplayer games. If you don't have a good a set of friends, then cribbage is not going to be that fun. Uh, OK, so this will be discard. Uh, so we have a discard pal here, uh, which means we're probably going to want like a count for this because of many games. There's strategy of like. How many counts there are, so you go over there. Probably want something like some kind of I. Whoa. What? What did I do? So this literally can't. Oh, right there, pixel perfect, and I can move this in. Is that showing me how many of these there are? I'll move this down here. How many of the new cards? 
These could be face up, to sort of like make it really obvious. With deal to all. Uh, there is also probably a collect all. Like all. Uh, so that way everything just sort of like right back into here. Um, and then the last one for shuffle. Maybe even shuffle the remaining ones of these. So if we if we do this, like if we have this available, uh, is this all of the the actions that somebody would want to uh, to be able to do? We have our cards. Uh, I want to make okay. So I uh, I click this red. It turns to green. Everybody can see this one. I can see one of everybody else's. Um, they. Uh, even if we're playing something complicated like poker. Um, so poker won't work. Or at least not um, Texas hold on poker that work because I don't have a system to like have a, a river in the middle. That's fine for right now. My parents uh, don't actually play that game ever. So we're good. Um, They are, they're playing like other games, uh, but even if, okay, even if we're playing like blackjack, uh, blackjack, we'd put these cards out. You have one of them flipped over. You'd have to do it yourself. So you're like, okay, everybody just grab it, grab yours. Like the, there, there wouldn't be a, like a dealer to do it. So this is probably a, um, it's probably like a good MVP. And then if they like it, we could add in some of those rules for like a dealer. If if they if that's a request they have. But like the framework for everything would be here. If it's built correctly. Um we'll probably want sort of a logout button. Which, um, okay, so almost regardless if we host a game or if we jam join a game with a code, we're coming down here. Um, if we host a game, this gets displayed here and then we know to like give everybody else, okay, give you that code. Um, and then if you join a game, you still, you put in the code, but then you just still come to the same interface. And it's almost as if it doesn't really matter who the host is anymore, does it? Host is really just um, generating the first code to begin with. Uh, the other thing that we want to deal with here is the names. So for example, for me, put in Berserker. Uh, who else? Um, I'll just use all of you. Uh, so starting from the most recent, we have Alvin. Purple G. Without an E. Uh, then Dota. Uh, the E is upside down. I don't see it. Uh, 
Um, then I guess we'll have, um, I'll give honorary mention to uh, Petzl Rocks. Um, and some, uh, some stranger that bombed, uh, so stranger. The, the negative about using a simple code system like this, uh, is that people can like bomb this, right? Like this is relatively easily guessable. Now I can make this more complicated by going up to like six or eight or you know, 10 or actually having it be like a real password. Uh, but then it, it also makes it harder for for non technical people to then log in with it. And then the username and password is actually um, it, it, it username and passwords aren't as secure as like a lot of people think they are. Uh, and then it just sort of causes causes problems too. with something like this. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, four characters is probably a good balance for this as long as I do make it truly random and I can open up special characters. Uh, it doesn't have to be only alphanumeric. I could I could make it work and do like, you know, at like something like that. Um, well, we'll be fine. Uh, possibly remove some letters like L and I. Oh, so like make it so it's less guessable by decreasing the. Hmm. The. If I remove letters. Well, so this is going to be an open source project. Oh, like O and zero look similar. You're right. You're right. So like I and L, O and zero. What what else is similar like that? I I L and one, I L and one. I guess I'm, and if I'm using special characters, bar, bar bar can't be in there either. Like dash and underscore. Possibly even like dot and comma. Although if I set the font, because like we can use whatever font I want, that can help also. Um, but are, what are we like? What functionality am I missing from this? Um, I guess like a, a good way to sort of think about this and this is like a design problem that like everyone has, uh, which is how do we know, um, how do we know if like we're, we're done with the design and that there's still not un unanswered questions, uh, how to show design hand. Yeah. And I think you all, you already just saw that, right? It's, it's these buttons. Um, now what I don't have is good instructions there. Uh, it probably be helpful, especially with this audience, uh, that we add in like, uh, a help button. Well, hello, Zulby. And he's purring, too. He had a busy morning this morning. He came down, 
wasn't happy with the food that I gave him. Um, I think it was probably too cold because it was in the refrigerator. Um, then he wandered around the kitchen. We have uh, we have a wooden floor downstairs um, on the first floor. And so like there's the little knot spots in, in the wood. And so he freaked out uh, thinking that several of them were, I'm guessing, spiders or some other little things. What? Oh, no. You got buzz in your face. Um, so freaked out, started running around, running away from all the spots, um, which like I would totally make fun of, except for the fact that I've done the exactly the same thing late at night, like walking through like, oh my gosh, there's spiders everywhere. And no, no, they're just spots. Um, then it comes back down, ate a little bit more uh, and then freaked out again. So it's been a busy morning. All right. Uh... Oh, are you going to go up and... I might be able to set up this. There, that camera is precariously placed, but able to look at Zilby. There's a bump in your wall that you constantly mistake for a bug. Ah, those type of ones are the, the worst because the shadows change over the day. And so it does look like they're changing. Um, okay, so if we have help, then I'm thinking what I do is I, I essentially just take this entire thing here and we copy you. Um, and help goes to this where I then just have like an overlay. Yeah, I wonder if there's any little little buggies outside like on on the little bush or tree, whatever that is. Like I'm in the basement, so there's there's not much for him to look at. Oh no, okay, he's he's done. I used to have the heater come on here, but now it's getting to like the 90s every day. Oh, he's he's really gone. Uh, let's see. Do I actually want to use this as my my help? Like just show this layout uh, with like instructions, or, like where to go for everything. Um, or okay, here's. Here's the easiest way that I can deal with this. For for help. We're going to have a a video that plays here. Um and then I'm just going to have a sort of text. Uh this is going to be a YouTube embedded uh video on how to use the tool that we can record at the end. So that's that's what this is. Um, maybe this can be like back. Should probably want to make this like go go back to play. Heck, I could even make this open up a completely different page, like a um, a new. Uh, what is it like? So this it wouldn't even know that we're logged in anymore. We could. Yeah, it just ah, screw it. This this won't open at all. 
help actually goes to YouTube. So let's go to my channel. I think I can do things like um not effects. Good morning, good morning, hello. Hey, stop. Don't autoplay my own stuff. Uh I think in Figma there's a way that I can Okay, create a connection. Oh, okay, that, that sets it sets it to everything else. Interactions. So on click. Oh, okay. That's what these are. Okay, but I can't can't necessarily go out. So I can pretend to do like a YouTube. Uh, I don't think I have anything to deal with that, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to pretend and say, you're YouTube. I guess that should be a, a frame. Uh, and we'll just say you are YouTube. I was very confused for a second because I saw like a little bug crawling over my screen and I thought that was in actually Figma for a second before I realized that no, no, it's just a bug on my, my monitor. Um, okay, so then you go here. Um, log out goes back here. Okay. So host game goes down here. Join also goes down here. Uh, and then I think that's, that's kind of it. I'm not going to do like a thousand of these for each one of these, you know, sections uh so then can i play this maybe oh it wanted to open up okay so no okay so here's where we would start you enter in your name you click host game we get here uh, we wait for other people to join in. They'll probably join like from left to right. Um, so how might we questions like, um, uh, how might we like launch a game? Okay, so that's, we've got that. Uh, how might we, uh, actually in order to write those, let's create a new repo. So this is going to be like our, our just, um, deck of cards simulator. Um, and I think this is going to be, we're going to do this as like the front end. Um, Deck card simulator front end, and we're gonna have another repo for the back end. Okay, so um how might we questions? Uh, okay, so it's how might we, um, so how might we, uh, like launch, like, um, like 
host a game uh, for everyone else to join. How might we um, get the code to join a uh, to join the game? Um, okay, so once we've done that, let's say we're playing um, we're we're playing a game. We're all together. How might we um, uh, take a take a card? So how might we know uh, that our card is um, only visible to ourselves? You think special characters might be difficult to explain for some people. For example, I don't think everyone knows what the at sign is called. That I, I can I can get behind that. I, I can get behind that. Uh, since these games are going to be... Uh, I, I'm not planning on storing these games. Like, I, I'm not... I'm not even necessarily convinced we need a database for this. <laughs> to be honest, we might be able to play everything with like a single... Like, um... Just like the single instance. Uh, and then it just, well, I don't even know if we need JSON file. Like it can maybe just store in memory. Like if, if we just store things in memory, as long as the server doesn't go down, then things are fine. And like every time that you join back up again, it's a brand new project and we're starting over. So... Uh, I don't know that I need a database like that a database would be for something like, okay, we're going to um, We're gonna increase like we're going to store like high scores across It's like we're not gonna do I, I'm, I'm not gonna store high scores like this. This is just a, a simulator for the deck of cards itself not like for the table that you play on. Um, so I'm making like they're still going to have to have paper to like write down high scores across multiple game sessions. Um, so how might we another cards available? How might we um, make a card visible? Uh, maybe um, how might we toggle a cards visibility? To other players. How might we? Okay, so we we target those. Um, how might we? Uh, we get a card. How might we? Um, like, quickly give a card to every player how might we um restart the game like restart a game so if i'm playing like um rummy uh, rummy yeah it'd be it'd be something like rummy heck it could be in michigan rummy that that might be more more interesting because there's more players so if we're playing a game of michigan rummy which is a super simple game uh and it's basically uh like counting upwards um so if like somebody has like the two two of uh, diamonds and they play the two of diamonds, somebody else, if they have like the three of diamonds, they can play it. So um, I say I have the three of, of diamonds. I, 
I have the three of diamonds, and I um. I make it visible, and then I click the discard button, and and that's it. It it like goes back up. Uh, okay, so how might I discard? Uh, we have to restart the game. Is is this it? So like, if I'm playing a game, I like with an actual real deck of cards, which I don't have a deck. I have a deck of cards upstairs. Um, so like, I want to shuffle it. Uh, okay, so how do I shuffle? So I want to shuffle the deck. I want to deal it to everyone. So I give a card to every player. Um, we betting can happen outside of this game. Um, if there's bets, that can just be outside um, and they can track it themselves. Uh, then I make certain cards visible or not um now i do like to resort my my cards back and forth uh i'm thinking that i'm not so like uh how might we sort cards in our hand i don't know if i'm gonna need to uh to actually do that like want to do that uh, for at least the first iteration. Um, okay, so I, I I usually sort them by hand. Uh, then, depending upon the game, we um, I I then just like make a card visible. That would be like putting it down on the table. And then once like that hand is done, I click discard and it goes into like the discard pile. And then I like I mark that I won or whoever whoever won the hand. So in a, in a case like oh hell. Um, now hearts can't be played with this system because there's um, hearts has a system where you pass cards to the like the player on your left, the player on your right, the player across from you. Um, and I don't have that system here. So there are some card games that we cannot play if they have like so um, Texas Hold'em has like the river has like the, the central cards. We're not going to do that. Uh, hearts, we can't arbitrarily pass cards like trade cards back and forth. Um, It's like th those games. I don't know if they even play those games, so I don't think that's necessarily going to be a problem until until they request it. Uh, anyway, so we finish the plane. I write down on a piece of paper who won. Like somebody is like scoring this, uh, like probably on the heck, maybe in like Zoom chat. They're they're doing this scoring. Then uh, we click. So we, we gather all the cards together. How might we gather all cards back together? Uh, we shuffled again. Uh, the dealer changes, but it's really the same, like the same pattern. So then we're, we're back to giving a card to every player. So I think I think this is it from like the very beginning of like what now it doesn't mean we need to support all these features. So um how might we questions and uh I want to do must haves and then maybe like nice to have. 
Okay, so post game for everyone else to join. Uh, this is a must have. Um, how do we get the code to join a game? I must get a code to join the game. Uh, how might we get a card? Kind of important to get a card in a card game. Um, oh, you're... Let's see. Maybe instead of explicit card action buttons like discard, there are drop targets. Like if you drag and drop the discard box, it'll discard, but you can also drag and drop to another player to give them a card. Uh, yes, that could potentially work. Um, I don't know how well they know, like everybody would know about drag and drop. And I also do know that some of these people are playing on their phones. So I haven't actually done drag and drop like on, on projects that like have phones and and computers like together. There, there's probably like different events that you have to pay attention to. It's probably like a library that I can use for like the front end, to like grab things. But I also know that there's like native HTML5 drag and drop libraries. And I think everybody has Chrome, which means everyone is is essentially the latest browser. So like, thank you, Chrome, for like for all the evils that you do. At least you you have auto updates so we can get the latest features. Don't have to worry about IE6 problems anymore. Um, Dota, you're sad you didn't write more unit tests for the project. I uh, I've run into that myself, where like I don't have, like I'm like oh, I'll write the test later for for this thing, and then it never happens. But I guess uh, the the positive is this is your project's way of telling you. Time to write a project. You did a project with 100 unit tests. The thing ran great. Um, as long so what I've what I have noticed before, like when it's like a personal project or like there's only one person working on it, it's super easy to keep the quality of the tests high uh, because you're the one working on it. Um, when it's a team based project and uh, it's it becomes much harder because if not everybody knows the reason why the tests are being created. Some of the tests might be created just to have tests, and then they don't actually test. Um, you say that, but you're bad at writing tests. Um, I mean, it is a skill also. So like practice, practice does help. The basis for the assumption is that you're good at writing tests. I know, I know. So how do we know that our card is only visible to ourselves? Um, this is also a must have. Toggle cards of visibility to other players. Uh, yes, we need to be able to show it to other players. Uh, how do I quickly give a card to every player? I think this is important. Um, okay, how about we restart a game? Uh, yeah, I think that's important. Discard a card. Yeah. Shuffle the deck. Kind of like silly if you have to like quit the game to restart just to get a new shuffle deck. Uh, how do we sort the cards in our hand? I am going to say that's a nice to have. Uh, and then gather all cards back together. Um, so the, these don't talk about the hows. These just talk about like, like what features need to be existing now we can talk about um i guess user stories could be could be part of this user stories um where we would Yeah, okay, so like a user story would be as a as a like, you know, player. 
I want to be able to, you know, host a game. Oh, to be fair, you got training on unit tests for the past year. Oh, that's awesome. It's so rare that people actually train on testing. That's pretty great. Okay, so as a player, I want to, um, I guess I could just be host, host a, um, card game. As a player, I want to, um, share the, uh, share the game code with everyone I'm playing with. So that would be like, once you're in here, this part, uh, as a player, I want to, uh, join an existing game. That'd be this one here. Okay, so we come here. Now at this point, um, uh, easy one, log out. As a player, I want to uh, uh, log out of the game. As a player, I want to, um, I want to get help on how the, how to play the game. Um, see like that, that's like rules of the game maybe, which would be like just asking other people. So like how to, um, use the interface to play the game. Okay, so that would be this then. Uh, other things in here. Um, as a player, I want to know where everyone else is uh, sitting. Um, sitting maybe like in quotes. Also, let's double check. I, I didn't, I actually didn't finish my must haves. Uh, my, like, how might we? It's so, like host a game for everyone else to join. So like, we, we have that here. I uh, get the codes, we have that. How do we get a card? Um, right now it's just like click or drag, but like somehow we, you know, it's represented here. So either click or drag. Uh, Um, we know the card is visible to orange yourself, so we have like that graphic. Um, toggle visible that, uh, that we start a game. Um, restart a game would be collect all, shuffle would be restart the game. It's like a two, two prong thing. Uh, discard a card. Um, would be this sort of trash icon, uh, shuffle the deck, um, and gather all cards back together. Okay. So we have, we have all of those. Okay. So perfect. Now I don't have the ability to do this right now. Uh, and I'm just not going to worry about that right this second. MVP. Uh, okay. So. I don't know where else it's sitting. It's so, like I can see deck their names. Um, so then I want to take a card. So like as a player, want to uh, take a card. Um, Part of taking a card would probably be seeing what 
seen the card. Uh, let's see, as a player, I want to see um, how many cards my um, everyone has in their hands. As a player, uh, let's see. So I've also got, you know, I've got these. Let's make sure we're getting like the user stories for all these. I'm gonna replace this again. Uh, so host a game. Well, that's that's pretty simple. Uh, for joining the game. That's like these two. Interesting enough, I don't have a how might we for logging out. I think I think it's important. A lot of people like look for that. So I would have even one for like help. Okay, so how might I get a card? So we have a take card here. Um, then I probably want to add in here as a player. I want to um, give deal a card to everyone. That would be Essentially, these two. Let's see how many cards everyone has in their hands. Okay. So we can see that there. Um, we can see that so that's their name. You can see their visibility status. Okay, so as a player, I want um, to see the card values that have been made visible by everyone. That'd be like these. I want to um, toggle my visibility. Yeah, like toggle. The visibility of a card of one of my cards. I want to discard a card. Uh, so then, okay, so that's, I think that's this entire sort of section here. So we've got this done, this done, this done. We got like part, I guess we got these, this part done all across here also. Um, then we want to see as a player, want to uh, see how many cards are left. Um, in the, what is that called? Like the, um, the pile of cards, uh, that have yet to be dealt, um, the unused cards. 
The draw pile? Oh, the draw pile. Draw pile. That's right. Okay. So in the unused draw pile. As a player, I want to see the... Um, I want to see the... The discard pile. It's like then we have deal to all, collect all. Don't think we have that one yet. As a player, I want to collect all cards from everyone so that I can uh, restart um, the game. As a player, I want to shuffle the deck. Um, now having so having a specific button for that, I think is good because uh, even if I have it like automatically shuffle as soon as like I I pull that in, I know a lot of people aren't gonna like believe that it happens. Uh, so sometimes like having a specific button for that can just make people happier and like feel better. Okay, I think I think that would be it. Um, as the host, do I want the ability to kick people out at this time? Like crosswalk buttons or closed door buttons and elevators. Um, yeah, kind of like that. Although like sometimes they do actually do stuff and sometimes they don't. That's like, that's the really interesting thing is like, it's fascinating which ones actually do something and which ones don't. Uh, okay. All right, so let's go through these, make sure we've covered all of our must-haves. How might we know that our card is only visible to ourselves? Uh, I want to toggle the visibility of my cards. Um, and I think like if we're, if we're looking at user stories as thin vertical slices, that means like the full thing is done. So we have that. How about we toggle a card's visibility to other players? So that's like um, a combination of like those. Uh, how might we restart the game? That's going to be collect all the cards and shuffle the deck. And then that's the game has been restarted. Uh, discard a card. Okay, I want to discard a card. Uh, shuffle the deck. We have that here. Gather our cards back together. There's that. All right. Um, now, what I don't have listed here... Um is so i'm gonna i'm gonna do another like must-haves like uh maybe mvp this is mvp uh and again like sort of nice a nice to have future version something like that um as a player i want to drag and drop cards um from the draw pile to a player. Um, as a player, I want to uh, sort my um, sort my card, sort the cards in my hand. I think that if I delivered this, it's completely playable. It will look terrible, but it is playable. 
and then I can gather feedback on it. Um, okay, so that's actually a really, really good point. How am I going to gather feedback? It's like, as a um, player, I want to give feedback on the simulator uh, simulator so that it can be improved. Um, perhaps something else that, uh, because this is real, um, as a player, I want, th these are, both of these are like sort of stretching it as user stories, like definitions of user stories. Um, they're more like tasks. Uh, so like as a player, I want, uh, the developers to know um developers i say that as if there's more than one uh developer to know um why the game crashed so this would be something like using sentry or some other bug tracking tool to like auto collect errors um And perhaps let's just add here, we'll just do tasks. So like add ability for players to give feedback in the simulator. Uh, and then this one is hook up a um, bug tracker like sentry auto collect errors uh what else do i care about here um like i don't necessarily know well um Having some kind of like metrics that like to know that this is being used would be really nice. So uh, set up a metric. Uh, it, it could be we could use something like Google um, Google Analyzer, Google Metrics, but I've I've not even used them for so long. It's probably fine just to use them. Uh, set up metrics, um, metric gathering. You have a reaction to Sentry? Um, so I've been using it at work. Uh, it's it's great so far, although I don't use it like for very much. It's very light. Um, well, OK, so Sentry is not like unit testing is is obviously good and important but sentry is also good because like when it's deployed and if there's an error i need to like know what that error is so i can recreate that and then create a test to recreate that error to make sure it never happens again and we don't regress um but it doesn't have to be sentry i think there's a few of these tools out there that that i could use Yeah, uh, Sentry catches it after it hits prod, and it's it's foolish to believe that because like so unit tests don't catch bugs as as like the, okay they can catch bugs. Um, they unit tests won't catch bugs that you don't think about, right? Like unit tests will catch the bugs that I write the unit test for. If I don't think about like a certain bug and then like I have like some kind of crash, uh, I won't know it at all unless I have something that like logs and uh, delivers that to me. 
So that's that that that's the reason for something like Sentry, is to catch what I forgot or missed in the testing. Most of your bugs are very obvious. Um, I've had weird bugs like people putting like using form fields the wrong way, uh, or like somehow logging in twice. Um, weird weird stuff like that. Uh, caches need to be reset. Um, it's like when, when that kind of happens, it can be good to know, oh, you know what the other thing with Sentry is really nice for? Gathering what version of the, um, the browser they're working with. So if I use, if I use something like a, um, a JavaScript method and their browser doesn't support that so that we get an error, I am like, oh, I guess I need to support IE10, uh, because one of their friends is using that. User te unit tests also help with the factoring. Absolutely, yes, definitely, fully, one hundred percent agree. Um, basically, I'm I'm not saying that. Uh, okay, so I might be saying that I need something like to auto collect errors. Uh, I am not saying that tests are not are not required. Uh, in fact, my my assumption here is that for each of these stories, the definition of done does not, done is not done until it's tested and deployed. So uh, test, tests are, are, are a thing. Oh, well, and and the the main reason I'm like, I don't know if I'm actually going to do Sentry for real, but like I do like Sentry and I think you can do a free account for like single projects or basic things. The big thing is because I'm deploying this and having other people use it and they're in other states and I'll be using it when I'm not necessarily there. Uh, I would like there. How, how am I going to gather feedback on like whether or not the thing even worked? I don't know. Like they'll, they'll just tell me later, maybe, uh, I don't, I don't have trust in that. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't, even if it's my parents, I can't trust that they're going to give me the feedback of like, whether or not it actually works, especially because it's my parents. They're probably going to say like, oh yeah, it was great. It was wonderful. We totally just put on a camera and played cards with a camera pointing at the deck, deck of cards. And it's like, no, um, I, I, I need all the information and data. Um, and luckily, something like Sentry for front end stuff isn't too hard to deal with. Now, notice that there's like nothing about the server side of this, but because these stories are, these are full stack stories. Like if I want to host a game, this is like, this is a pretty beefy story uh, because I need a server to like deal with this. So there are questions. There are questions that we need to like have answered. So um, <laughs> questions slash experiments. Uh, now, initially, we're thinking about using web sockets. Um, now, I know just because like I have a lot of experience with Express and Node.js, uh, I know how to set up web sockets in an express server. It's like one one web server that can do, you know, all the standard normal stuff and web sockets together at the same time. I don't know how to do that in Rust and I would love to do this with something like Actix, Actix or Rocket I suppose or anything else. I don't know if Rocket's actually ready yet for um for prime time. Uh so can I, um, uh, can a Rust based web server, uh, also host a, um, web socket server, um, all in one. 
Like that that's a good question. I don't know. Um we're gonna have to figure that out. Why is this white and these are yellow? Okay, so I get you, you're all white because I put in X's on it. Huh, okay, well, I won't worry about it. We'll probably have other experiments and questions to deal with too. And so I'm gonna want to like, as these pop up, these need to be like come first, right? We need to like do these before we like actually work on, on these stories or the tasks. Uh, we might have other tasks to sort of pop up too. Um, sort of like initial setup of like the server. Uh, we're also gonna have to have like the set up the server and get that going. Um, oh, and hosting. Like where are we gonna friggin' host this? Like questions, experiments. Where are, um, where is the front end going to be hosted? Where is the server going to be hosted? Uh, DigitalOcean is an option. Um, I think also like Linode, um, uh, AWS has, has like a new super lightweight, uh, like a super, super, super lightweight uh, server that I think I can use that's like really cheap also. Um, uh, Heroku has a, has a like a Docker repository now that you can use. It's like beta and CLI only, but like you could just throw things up there. Uh, that that could also be good. Um, I think those are all going to be questions that we have to answer for as part of this project. And uh, I think we're going to have to start with this one. Um, now, it doesn't have to be WebSockets. I could just do a normal server and then have it like ping constantly. Um, I think that would be fine too, especially with only like six players playing at the same time. Uh, that would that would be fine. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to let's see. We planned, planned out the, the simulator. First steps, obviously more planning will happen. Uh, but we actually have a repo now. So, I mean, that's, that's a good sign. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, uh, leave so like end end this at this point. 